Dear students, Namaste. Let us start a new chapter. Chapter number 8, Repeat Command and Procedures in Logo. Very first, I am going to take the recap of the logo that we have studied in class 3. All the basic commands of logo and how to use it. After that, we are going to work with repeat command. Then we are going to make shapes and pattern using the repeat command. Then we are going to work with logo procedure, label the parts of logo procedure, create and naming a procedure, edit, save and load a procedure and execute a procedure. As you know, when you start Amazon logo, the turtle is at the home position, that is center of the screen. MSW logo commands can be divided into following groups depending on the use. This I have done according to our convenience. First is move commands, forward FD command, back BK command and home command. Then we can group in turn commands, RT and LT commands. Then we can group in clear command, CS and CT command. Then we can group in display commands that is HT and ST command. Then the print command or PR command. Then exit command is the buy command. And the last pen commands that is pen up, pen down, pen erase and pen paint command. We are going to see how we are going to use these commands in a very brief way just to revise or recapitulate. Move commands. First forward command. It is used to move the turtle in the forward direction by the number of steps given. The short form is FD. Example, FD40. We have seen earlier as I have typed FD40, what happened? The turtle moved forward by 40 steps or 40 units in the direction of its head and have drawn a straight line. Next is back command. It is used to move the turtle in the backward direction by the number of steps given. The short form is BK. We usually write the short form in the input box to save time. Example, BK40. This command will move the turtle backward by 40 steps in the direction of its tail and draw a straight line. We will see practically the working of these commands. Move commands. Next is the home. This command brings the turtle to the center of the screen, also called the home position, by drawing a line as it moves to the center of the screen. See the figure here. First, we have type FD60, turtle moves forward by 60 steps. Next, RT90, that means the turtle will turn. 90 degree. We will see this later on. Next is FD60 command. I have given or we have given the turtle moves 60 steps forward. Once home command is pressed, the turtle will come to its home position wherever it is. Now, in this case, it was after FD60. So it is coming back and forming a triangle. Turn commands. Right command. It is used to turn the head of the turtle towards right side by given angle. The short form is RT. Example, RT90. This command will turn the turtle to the right by 90 degrees. As you can see in the top figure, as soon as we press the RT command, the figure towards the left. left. Here the turtle is in the center position and as soon as we press the RT90, then the turtle turns to the right side by 90 degree as indicated by the arrow sign there. That is, it is one quarter of the circle. Next, left command. It is used to turn the head of the turtle towards left side by given angle. The short form is LT. Example, LT90. This command will turn the turtle to the left by 90 degrees. 
in this class we are going to see more about the degrees which i am going to explain you in the next class clear commands clear screen cs it erases the drawing on the main screen after figure is erased on the main screen the turtle will come back to its home position see the diagram before using the cs command and after using the cs command we will see it and practically next clear text or city command it, it is the command of contents of recall list box see the recall list box having a set of commands now after applying the city command the recall list box is clear or the commands have been erased we are going to see practically the use of city command display commands hide turtle or ht command it is used to hide a turtle on the main screen it is used so that we can see the clear view of the drawing on the main screen that is the turtle will not be shown along with the drawing next is show turtle or ht command it is used to display the turtle back on the main screen exit command we can exit as the logo in the following two ways first type by in the input box and press the enter key or the execute button second on the menu bar click on file a list of option will be displayed and then click on exit to exit ms dv logo let us see how we can do this pen command pen up or pu command is used to make the turtle stop running a line when it moves that is after using this pu command if you give fd or bk command the turtle will act as it is jumping from one place to the other place with the specified distance pd command pd command is used to make the turtle begin drawing again pen erase or pe command is used to make the turtle erase the line here the turtle is acting like a eraser pen pin command pen pin command stops turtle from erasing as it moves here the turtle stops acting like a eraser print command print command is used to write text in the command window we can calculate in logo using the pr command along with the various operator symbols the command sum difference product quotient and remainder are used to find results of addition subtraction multiplication and division of numbers the remainder command is used to find the remainder after division of two commands here in this class i am not going to discuss more about the print command but the other commands are very important please revise these commands and practice it repeat command it is a very interesting command the repeat command tells the logo turtle to repeat a given command a certain number of times syntax of the repeat command is shown here repeat n then square brackets two or more commands are written within the square bracket here n is the number of times the commands written inside the square bracket is to be repeated we use the repeat command to make the computer do a certain task repeatedly the repeat primitive saves a lot of time and effort instead of writing the same command again and again we just write the repeat command and the number we should repeat repeat command is used for looping so here we are seeing the concept of loop looping that is repetition now let us see how to use repeat command here i am going to take the example of square how to write the commands to draw a square in logo very first i will write the simple logo commands to draw the square as it is written in the left hand side cs st fd100 rt90 fd100 rt90 fd100 rt90 and fd100 and rt90 followed by ht 
If you see this set of commands, here we can find that FD100 and RT90 is being repeated four times. So here we can use the repeat command. The repeat command to draw a square will look like CSST. CSST is not been repeated, therefore it is not included within the repeat. Next is repeat 4, FD100, RT90. Here, FD100 and RT90 is repeated four times. Therefore, we have written four and followed by the set of commands which is being repeated. And then the HT. If you write this repeat four, FD100, RT90 in the input box, that is the command input box and press enter, you can see in the main screen a graphic window a square having the FD that is the 100 steps in all its sides. Let us take another example. We want to draw a rectangle. So the command to draw a rectangle in logo will be CSST FD100 RT90 FD200 RT90 FD100 RT90 FD200 RT90 and HT. Here we can notice the FD100 RT90 FD200 RT90. This set of command is repeated twice. Therefore, we can write the repeat command for drawing a rectangle. So the repeat command goes like this. Repeat 2 FD100 RT90 FD200 RT90. So here we have to find the pattern from the simple logo commands that we have written to draw a particular figure. If we can find a set of pattern which has been repeated, then we can write the repeat command for those set of commands, those are repeated. Let us take another example. You can see the figure on the right hand side, a staircase. The turtle is at the bottom of the staircase. Now, first we will write the simple particular logo commands as we have written here, CSST, FD60, RT90, FD60, LT90. Then again, this set of command, FD60, RT90, FD60, LT90. This is being repeated two times. Therefore, we can now write the repeat command as repeat 2, FD60, RT90, FD60, LT90. So, it is not possible for us to write repeat command for any figure that is given to us. We have to find the repeat pattern. If the pattern is existing, then only we can write the repeat command. Otherwise, it is not possible to write the repeat command for the given figure. So, first you have to write simple logo command then you have to find the pattern. Once you can find the pattern of the repetition, then you can repeat those set of commands by the number of times it is repeated. I hope you have understood. You can try different figures. You can make different figures, that is line figures, and try to write the simple command and find the repetition is there or not. If repetitions are there, then you can write the repeat command for that. Let us take another example. Here I have written the first a simple command and then I have found the repetition that is FD60 RT90 PU. FD40, LT90, PD. This set of command is repeated two times. Then I will get this type of figure. So here the command PU, FD40, LT90, PD is purposefully repeated so that we can write the repeat command. So sometimes we have to think 
in this way also to write the repeat command. Sometimes you have to write an extra command which of course is not needed to complete the figure but it will help for the repeat command to be used. Dear students, this chapter is very interesting one. It is very easy if you understood the concept and it is very hard if you have not understood it. For that you need practice. Sit in front of computer and try these commands that are the figures that I have given and or I have shown you. Once done, once understood, try to imagine yourself a different set of figures and practice. I will give you some assignments where you do try the commands to draw the figure and find out whether use of repeat command is possible or not. So dear students, thank you for your patient hearing. Have a nice time. Bye. See you in the next class.